Hey, I'm Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite devices. Are you looking for an incredibly easy to use spy camera? And do you need it to be extremely discreet? Then look no further. This mini spy cam pen by Sir Gawain is going to do the trick. In this video, I'll show you what comes in this box and explain to you just how the pen actually works. And I'll also show you how to retrieve the photos and videos from the pen and we'll watch a video that's actually recorded from the pen itself so you can see its quality. First things first, let's open the box and see what's inside. Inside the box, you've got the pen, which is separated into two parts. You can see the memory card slot and charging port in one part here, and the other part is the writing portion of the pen. You simply screw the two parts together, and if you're using it as a pen, you twist the bottom part clockwise like so to begin writing. You'll find some extra ink wells in the pen box as well. So if the pen ever runs out of ink, you'll have many extras to keep it writing. And you have a tool that is used to actually twist these ink wells into place or out of place when it comes time. Next, you'll receive a nice, thick, and durable USB cable that's used to charge your pen from any standard USB outlet or port. You also get a micro USB 2.0 memory card reader that you can insert your memory card into in order to retrieve the photos and videos from the pen for later viewing. And if you want to make sure that the pen is all nice and shiny at all times, you'll get this nice microfiber cloth to keep it clean. Use this to wipe away the camera lens and to make sure your pictures and videos are always going to come out clear. For starters, I'll go over how to operate the pen. First of all, make sure that you charge the pen with the included USB cable and insert your own memory card, sold separately, into the pen's memory slot like so. Then, screw the two parts of the pen back together. Also, make sure you remove any protective film that may be covering the lens of the camera on the pen so that you can get the clearest possible images. To turn on the pen, simply press and hold the top button on the pen for two seconds and you should see a green LED light on the pen lighting up to let you know that the pen is now in standby mode and ready for use. If the pen doesn't find your TF memory card, it will flash a red light for five seconds and then shut down. If you're going to take video with the pen, once the pen is in standby mode, simply press the top power button of the pen down two seconds and the green light will flash three times letting you know it's now beginning to record a video. While in video mode and the pen is recording, when you're done recording the video, simply press the top power button once to stop the recording and the pen will then save the file and return back to standby mode. And please keep in mind that if the pen is in standby mode for 60 seconds without any input from you, it will then shut itself off to save battery. That's how you record video with the pen. The videos are recorded in 1920 by 1080 resolution, giving you high definition video quality. If you want to take photos with the pen, simply bring the pen back into standby mode like I described earlier and simply click the top power button once. The green light on the pen will then flash one time, letting you know it just took a picture. The pictures are all saved in 2560 by 1440 resolution, giving you super high quality photos. And just a side note, you can even record with the pen while it's charging. To record video while it's charging, press and hold the top power button for two seconds and wait for the green light to flash three times, indicating it's recording a video. When you're ready to view the photos and videos of the pen, simply unscrew the pen and remove your memory card. Then place it into the reader that's included in the box and insert the card reader into any available USB port on your PC. Or if you prefer to retrieve your media without the card reader, just plug the pen into the USB port as if you were going to charge the pen and leave your memory card in there. You will then be prompted to open up the contents of the memory card itself and there you will have all of the files that you've saved with the pen. Finally, it may be a good idea for you to adjust the time and date settings for the pen camera. To do this, after recording something with the pen for the first time, make sure you access the memory card and open the text file within it labeled time.txt. Here is where you can change the time and date settings. Just make sure to save the file when you're done and you'll be good to go. As a troubleshooting measure, if you notice that the pen is not responding to button pushes and you suspect that the pen has crashed, use the poking tool included in the box to push into the hole just under the LED light indicator. This is a hidden reset switch that will force the pen into a reset and bring it back to life. If you have any trouble with the pen, don't worry. Remember you have 24-7 customer support available. Here is the kind of video quality that you can get from this pen. Isn't this amazing how such a small pen and camera can get such great quality videos? 
It's truly a marvel of technology, if you ask me, just like in the spy movies. And the pictures are really great too. Here's a sample picture taken with the pen. It simply doesn't get any easier to work a spy camera and take amazing quality videos and pictures now, does it? And that's it for this video. I want to thank everybody for checking out the Sir Gowan Spy Pen, one of the best quality spy pens on the market today, and certainly one of the easiest ones to operate. And if you've just purchased one, thanks for that as well. Again, I'm Daniel, signing out. Take care.